All right, well, we're going to go from Long Island to Las Vegas. They both begin with the letter L. Let's give a warm welcome to Miss Linda Marcus Smith. Yay! Linda. Linda. Hi, everybody. Linda. Can Hi. you see me? I can't see myself on the big screen. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Uh, yes. We can see you. Your hair looks okay. Up. Thank you. I'm going back to the 60s with this style. <laughs> um, I just want to thank everybody here for supporting live comedy. Or is it live adjacent? I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> so I am getting sick and tired of something. We have to talk. I get it. I'm old, but I'm not racist. Knock it off. People <laughs> think I'm racist because I'm old. That's ridiculous. And if I have blonde hair, they think I'm a Karen. I'm, I can handle my own shit. I don't need a manager. I don't. But one thing I am, I'm 21 times three plus. Gladys told me not to finish that math equation. <laughs> None of your business. I have a twin brother. His name is Fred. And everybody asks the same stupid question. Are you two identical? <laughs> It's like, look at this. I have a much bigger penis. You're welcome. <laughs> he hates that joke. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this last birthday, he came out and he embarrassed me. He came out as a 70 year old. And now Gladys is mad at my twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm a U.S. Army veteran. I know Jim's a veteran, Bob. Gladys's Bob was an army that a Navy yeah. veteran. Give it up for our All military right. veterans. All right, Linda. Stop giving it up for the dog and cat doctors. Mm. They're not the heroes. Mm. Don't spread your <laughs> legs for them, ladies. <laughs> okay, fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, you know, I get sick and tired of people saying the same stupid thing when they hear that I went in the military. They're like, what about the baby killers? And I'm like, listen, that's ridiculous. I went in in 1973. That's the same year women in America started having abortions. So knock it off. <laughs> yeah. And I went over to Germany. And, you know, I, and then people would say to me, Linda, but what about you going in the military? What about all the rapes? And I'm like, listen, I served for three years. And I got to tell you, I didn't rape all that many men. <laughs> they got by they got by but you know i almost did but it was his fault you should have seen what he was wearing right <laughs> <laughs> call back to history <laughs> i think the military i don't know jim you might agree i think the military might be a little bit mm, gay because of all the sayings they have you know like give me your six come on now <laughs> I'd rather have your nine. I almost had an 11 and a half once, but I passed on it because, you know, I wasn't into hazardous duty pay and friendly fire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My life is about now. It's about doing comedy for the military and the vets. That's all I live for is making them laugh. It makes me tingly all over my body. And sometimes <laughs> up inside my snatch, Richie. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Richie. How many times did I have to hear snatch tonight? <laughs> um, Watch your Olympics, you'll hear more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when I'm making a veteran or military person laugh and forget the nonsense that they had to do so we can tell jokes in English... I get tingly all over, and that's why I'm always going to get out and find another GI spot. Thank you. Uh, 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 Love you guys. Yeah. Yay, Linda. Yeah, Linda. Give it up for Linda. Linda, Linda do you want to know what my favorite Brad Pitt movie is? GI yeah, spot. That. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Give it up for Linda. Yay.